All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, we are on episode 22 of John and Eric's Epic Adventures in Skyrim. Here, College Hold. We are in the uh, professor's quarters, and I'd like to showcase a couple of changes that we have in. So, one of the biggest ones you'll see is pretty much immediately is that the icons over on the side are a lot bigger. I've been working on um, accessibility for people who are on mobile devices to make it easier to see what's going on. Our inventories, we boosted up the font a little bit here, so this is now a size large. And then I can do a really quick demo here. Uh, let's do player.add item. Do one gold, right? And you'll see it. So I've, I've moved it back up to there, but I've also increased its size. It's been a big thing. So there you go. So when we get items, when we learn recipes and ingredients, it's going to a lot clearer to read, a lot easier for a smaller screen. But we'll just, they want stuff. So, that's pretty exciting. Eric, where is Eric? Oh, he's just vibing, right? What we are going to be doing today is we are speaking with Sergius here. He's going to be the one who's planting all of our equipment, finally doing that. I sold a lot of our other equipment. We have 27,000 gold, so everything that we wanted from the last episode. It's actually incredibly tedious. Um, we're really close. Look how close we are to level 26, just because we got a few um, speech levels. I had to put a perk here into merchants, just because like they don't have enough gold, right? It was the problem. Was We had so many potions and just other things to sell that I had to sell anything I could to anyone that would buy it. So I threw that in. We get 15% better prices. Um, we can invest in gold and props now with the gold we have. We might do that later, but mostly merchants will buy anything except stone. So that's it. So I already did a little bit of research on what we're going to be buying the um, different enchantments to. We have all of our gear right here, and we're going to be giving up some of this. So like, uh, well, I don't think he can enchant our backpack, right? That's what but can do our cloak. Um, we don't really have any good rings to have here. We have a, a gold diamond necklace of Fearless Magica. This is probably going to be our, our primary one. 70 points um, of Magica, which is pretty incredible, right? We do have to be careful that everything we give him, we have to buy back. And our last weapon, our silver, uh, silver sword, costs like 2,500 gold to get back. I don't know if that's going to be kind of the standard for having to buy things back. So if we give him like seven items, it might cost our entire cash stack here, like 20,000 gold just to get all of our stuff enchanted. I have no idea. I've never enchanted this stuff at one time. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to all of that. Uh, we'll take off. Well, I guess here we can keep the backpack on, but we'll take these off. All the rest of this, we're going to be giving to him to a chance. This is what we're going to be running around as for a while. Pretty much pretty much naked, right? Compared to all the armor that we have. And it's about, it's almost 7 p.m. in game. Hopefully we can just sleep the night and all of our stuff will be enchanted in the morning. We're not too sure how that's going to work, right? We're just going to kind of open the best. Enchanting services are one of the few um, things that keep us in touch with you yes so there's going to be quite a few items this is deconstruction so which we're definitely not going to do right so we have seven grand soul gems we don't actually have like 62 i think this combines the inventories of both him and mine he doesn't have any grand soul gems i have all the seven so that's definitely why we brought our own right well i guess we'll start with the helmet um i think the helmet is definitely going to be magic. Uh, I'd, I, you know, I, I was considering doing a, a certain spell type, but I think really just having more magic is able. So, oh, there we go. Select that. Have that enchanted. Next is our chest plate, which I was thinking of doing stamina, but I'm also considering uh, potent restoration. So that's. That's pretty good, right? At the same time, I... 
I don't know how much, like when we're engaged in combat, I don't know how often we're going to be using restoration spells versus just throwing stamina on this and then doing things like resist po uh, poison or disease or other things or, you know, the different regeneration rates here. I don't know how valuable those so I are going to be, so I think I'm just going to do stamina. Um, oh, there we go. So, there we go. Oh, we could rename it. I don't know. Renaming. Gauntlets. What do we do for the gauntlets, right? Gauntlets, I was going to do fortified two-handed, right? So, 20% uh, more damage. Um, you know, so that's about... One, one thing I was considering, by the way, is we have all of these, uh, these other enchantments up there that we don't know. One of the things we could probably do is commission him to enchant items that are, like, really, really cheap. Like, just iron daggers or, or things, right? Iron gunk. And then we can break them down ourselves to learn those uh, <laughs> traits. So I was thinking about that today as I was kind of figuring out what we were going to choose here. It's like, oh, a great idea. So it's a, it's a cheap way to get lots of different um, enchantments really quickly. Anyway, we were going to do two-handed on these. Grand Soul Gem, right? So those are looking good. We always love extra damage. And then the boots. I was kind of thinking about muffle, but we're not going to do that, right? Wouldn't it be crazy to have uh, heavy boots that are, you know, that muffle you? Instead, I think we're, we are going to just... Oh, that's what it was. No, no, no. We're going to go for shock resistance here. Um, I was considering doing frost resistance, but we already have like 50% frost resistance as a Nord. Fire resistance, I mean, I don't know how much we're gonna... Oh, you don't need a sand, uh, Grand Soul Gem for Muffle. That's a very good point, too. But Shock, we don't really have anything for Shock that I'm aware of. So, that's what I was thinking of, uh, throwing one of those. I, hope... I, I don't know, this is my first time ever doing, like, enchanting. Like, the... it's been a long time. So here's our cloak, right? We only have three left. Uh, we're gonna do resist magic, so that brings it up to 19%. Technically, we could, I mean, if we really wanted to be serious, what we could do is go through and get, like, one of each of these, right? If we really wanted to be fancy, but I think we'll just stick with magic because it's our primary cloak. And then, what else? So we're not gonna enchant these. I'd rather bring in, like, better, higher quality, like, diamond gold things that we want to keep for ourselves, right? Could do a, uh, I actually need a better, like, hunting knife. I don't know why we have these. I could probably make a, uh, an orcish one myself, right? And, and then the orcish bow, right? Like, we could, we could make a Nordic bow that's probably better than this. And you'll, you'll notice also that they're all missing their, like, you know, well-made or high-grade, the different grades. That, I think, is just a visual bug that it renamed the items. They're all still buffed up, I hope. Really hope that's how that works. But yeah, let's let's do our sword here, right? Um, I have no idea what to do on the sword. I guess we could try fire, um, maybe frost. I feel like a lot of things would resist frost, though. Here we have to select. It. select. Um, we could do absorb health, right? But. But even then, the, the number of uses that we get out of that is pretty low. Just absorb 20 points of health. I feel like that isn't going to be all that fantastic. Um, you know, I'd rather just have higher damage output, even higher damage output. So, I mean, we could do like a, a chance of paralysis, right? So it's, so it's basically an extra knockdown. Um, that would be really expensive to buy back. I guess we'll just do fire, right? Max out the fire. I'm a little bit worried though, just because like this, this is gonna be one OP sword, seriously. Yeah, we'll go for it, right? Anted Skyforge Steel. And then we have one more, which I don't think we really have anything left to enchant. Um, once we can't, oh, I probably should have grabbed something from Eric. Like we could have done Eric's cloak, too. I didn't really think of that, but 
that's all of the, uh, what is word? The soul gems we have, basically, right? We need more grand soul gems in order to go through. So that was super freaking expensive. Ah, that's okay, right? So we only did one set and we'll see exactly how expensive it becomes. That is really weird, Eric. You're sitting inside of a cabinet there. I'll have to report that. Anyway, it's around 8 p.m., so it took an hour to decide what we were going to do. We could try doing some spell research, right? I mean, excuse me, I'm not too sure what we have left to do. I can check my horse to see if we have anything to sell. Do we have any perk points available? First, do we have any perk points? We don't. Um, let's see. So, God, if I could sell this, that'd be really easy, but nobody has any gold left, honestly. Um, which, you know, is, is, I guess, a really unique problem to have, but we could probably grind some potions. Um, I don't know. Why don't we just... We'll, we'll do some spell research. And then do like three hours of spell research. And then we'll just leave. I can remember how to do that. We haven't done any spell research up to this point, but I think, you know, John's kind of sitting here. He has his robes on. He doesn't know what else to do. Well, you know, we're, we're part of the college now. I guess we'll do some research. Carrying around this, uh, this journal for all this time, right? Uh, yeah, I know how to spell. Alright, so we're researching. What should we research? Oh, wrong, wrong menu here. Can you research spells that you don't actually have, like, traits in? I'm looking at some of these, and it would be nice to open up more of these trees. I, I think it's Alteration that give us some pretty good passive perks higher up. Hmm. For some of the cheaper ones we have here, like a bound hunting knife. Why don't we just do, um... What is it? Healing hands, right? notes together and you can begin researching. Nice. Good, we can hotkey it. Form research for three hours. Maybe we'll get a level up? That would be impressive. Too far drains to continue researching. What's that? Oh, you know what I completely forgot to do was switch over to the, um, what is it? This one. Right, which we should probably just be wearing at all times now with the extra magic that it gives us. How tired are we? Um, mental exhaustion by 60 points? Good lord. Okay. Definitely a step in the right direction, right? Oh, uh, is this now in our quick slot here? It is. Is it going to let me toggle it though? Yes. Nice. Um, oh. Oh, research again. We'll do, what, like, eight hours? Maybe nine hours? Probably should. <clears throat> Hungry, thirsty, but well-rested. Eric casually watched us sleep. It's not creepy at all. Oh, yeah, there's probably a few mages here we need to help out. Um, Zargo is kind of a jerk to talk to. No! Oh, because we, we slept, right? We slept the night. Okay. Excellent. So, hopefully, yeah, we'll be great. We'll sleep nine hours then instead. Okay. <coughs> Zarko, get out of my room, bro. He sus. Anybody else here? 
kind of want to talk to her. But I don't want this to break. I need your help with something. Something private. Still um, no word from your family? Really? That must be so nice. I came all the way to Skyrim. He walked, to get he away walked from in my there to uh, something. Yes, wrong? but it needs to be kept quiet. Oh, well, I may have entered into awkward. an Sorry agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family. Uh -huh. I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Okay. We're pretty good with people, right? Until next time. Now, as a reminder, we need to help a few people in order to become the Thane of Witch Cold, so... If you have a moment, could you help me with something? Uh, what do you need help with? We're all trying to become better mages, right? Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Uh... Yeah, okay, I'll help. Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Shizargo. Now, yeah. you just stand there. <laughs> Please hold still, and don't move. Oh, it's not letting us go third oh, person. Dear. That wasn't supposed to happen. Do you... do you feel all right? You look very... I forgot to go third person um, before this. Green. Green? I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. What did I'm you do? Really sure. I think it's just a minor miscalculation on my part. I'm sure it will wear off soon. When it does, you'll be perfectly fine, and then we can try again. In the meantime, I'll see about figuring out what went wrong. Okay. Until next time. I don't look green. Okay, that's interesting. I don't feel green. Is my vision supposed to be green? I don't know. Did... <laughs> Maybe it changed her vision to think that I'm green. To check my mail? I have mail. Okay. I guess I have mail now. Interesting. Anyway. Let's see if... We can pick up all of our enchanted items and then we'll be fine. Otherwise, we'll probably do like three more hours of uh, of magic training. We might even throw some levels into one of the, uh, what is it? Oh, it's one of the new uh, classes, right? I think Eric, uh, John and Eric would probably be a lot more open to using magic now that they're surrounded by all these people who are using it from different backgrounds. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to find this guy, but I do know that this is his room, and he's asleep. Enchanting so, services are one of the few- Would like to pick up my order? Is it ready? Of course. All right. Oh, okay. So, we're looking at six items, and they're averaging about 3,000 gold each. Oof. We're going to have to prioritize what we take back here. So, bearskin cloak is probably the least important, I guess, right? I mean, it's nice, but we need our armor back. So, we're going to take back our weapon. We need that. We might get a level up from this. Um, we'll take back... Can we sell him stuff? Like, while we're doing this? I really should have grabbed some of the stuff on the horse to sell. We still do that? Let me see if I have anything to, to sell first. Um, no, let's let's take a little break. Hold on, let's uh, let's utilize this. We're gonna grab a bunch of stuff we have to sell off the horse and just sell it to him <laughs> in exchange, right? We're gonna trade enchanted items. Is essentially what we're gonna do, right? Oh my god, my horse is flying. What are these mages doing? Uh, Creepy freaking mages. I don't know if we're gonna be able to carry this. Oh, we're barely able to. Um, sell a gold ingot. We might use that for something. Mages. Terrifying. Making horses float. 
Back to speech buffs. Ooh, we could give that a try. Um, that would be very helpful. So if we switched back over to Tabella, and we also have a potion of speech. Still here? Yeah. So if we do... How long does this last? 60 seconds? Or how is our um, passives? Right, I mean, we're hungry. Okay, let's eat some food first. Before I forget to do that. Let's do... Let's do... Also, see? These are much better. In my opinion. So everybody can and watch and panic as I forget to add them back. Um, what's the effect at? Let's see, we're at 101 speech. All right, we the local nords are getting this. This is as good as it gets. Of course. Oh my God! Look at the prizes. Look how um, the other token. Thank you very much for recommending this. We are saving easily like 5,000 gold by doing this, right? Fantastic. Start with the helmet, then we'll sell back, what, this, right? See, this is one thing that I noticed is that the uh, the gold ends up resetting. Then, oh, we could buy it back again. Um, do the gauntlets, and what was the next thing we had to sell? This, right? Wait. No, okay. That was... Never mind. That's fine. Oh, crap. Is that a bug? Huh. Um, okay. We won't do that, then. <laughs> Oops. That looks like everything. So, and we're super over encumbered. Ow. Ooh. Very nice. Favorite these back up. Whip them. Put our. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Very exciting. And we're, we're still over encumbered. Why are we still over encumbered? Oh, because we picked up a bunch of gear. And uh, all of the extra weapons we had to put back. So that was excellent. We still have like 12,000 gold. So it, so it killed, what would that be? Around 10,000 gold, right? No, it was more like 15,000. Which isn't, it's not as bad as we were expecting. Right? So just by taking that potion, we probably ended up saving several thousand. Oh my goodness. Um, back to that. I think what we're gonna do is we are going to ride back now, because we got one set of armor enchanted. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break from the College of Winterhold, going to head back to white run kind of restock our gold a little bit balance out our inventory um store all of the items on our horse make some more potions and from there we will be working on oh we still have to okay we'll do this one first and then let's see we might do hitting the books Valador's insights well uh, I'll, I'll figure out which one of these we're gonna do once uh once we drop everything back off. Oh, oh, okay, okay. First of all, there's the guy we needed to talk to right over there. So let's do this, this, and... Wait, wait, get back here. Okay, all right, fine. That's fine. Here we go. Hey, you. Even with the college's laid-back attitude, there are still some things that are off-limits. You have something of Onmin's we want to pack. Oh my. How precious. 
Onman is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onman knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. Um, I think it's in everyone's best interest if you return the amulet. That that's more like an intimidate, but apparently in this case it's persuade. Right? Oh, oh, I suppose, but Awkward. you keep this Sorry to yourself. To I don't want it being known that I go back on my trades. Understand? That's fair enough. Right. Until next time. All right. That one was pretty simple, right? It's great having a high speech level. Really great. We had like superhuman speech when we took that potion. It was pretty good. Uh, where is he? Right. So, uh, figure out where the heck he is. Oh! Oh, he was back in there. See, I didn't even notice. Alright. Yeah, he was literally right behind. Uh, yeah, right behind us. Hey, bro. Good news. We shouldn't have been disturbing Sarthal, no matter what you found down there. Yeah, probably. Here's your amulet. <laughs> I didn't think he'd really give it back. Thank you, friend. It's good to know I can count on you. Yeah. So if we wanted to, we could have him follow us. A little cold good hunting. always greases the wheels. And we had enough money to pay Eric, too. Hey, how long are we gonna be green for? Or, or do you think help, we're gonna be green? If you can spare the really? That must be so no Oh, we have to level up too. Let's do that. And we're gonna put it into Magicka. Oh my god, we like doubled our uh, attribute pool for Magicka, right? It's up to 200 now. Um, our health. Our health's so low. Oh, because we don't have like the beef stew up or anything like that. Normally around 400. And our uh, stamina's looking good. Okay. Incredible. Really nice. I. What are our resistances, does it say? Or do we just kind of have to calculate it ourselves, right? So, <clears throat> maybe we should have done this as fire resistance instead, because we do have rock resistance by 25. I mean, it's tough to say, right? We can probably just take a potion of fire resist, I bet. Um, what's more important is getting the magic resist stuff. Um, oh my god, our beast blood makes us immune to disease? I didn't know that. Well, that's pretty good. Great. I mean, it Skyrim doesn't stop poison, but, you know. Family's I, oh, I had disabled those, but they were reactivated. My family didn't really prove me coming here at all. I'll, uh, I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to re-disable those, right? All right, so we're gonna make our way back to Whiterun. We'll stop, you know, I'll, I'll show any super crazy things that happen, but otherwise we'll get a little bit more organized. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. I'll see you later. Oh, it's the old orc. You guys think we can take him on? horse over here. I don't really want to attack him with the horse. I think we can do it. I think we should try. Show Bob, bro. Do love. I think we should try. And I'm probably going to regret this. Right? But that's okay. It'll be a good test to see how we're doing here. Um, we'll do beef stew. Right? How's our uh, stamina regen? I don't the apple cabbage stew, that we're, we're gonna need more. Um, like one minute and 30 seconds just is not enough. So we're gonna... um, anything else? Anything else we can do? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, we'll probably need to take a sleeping tree sap as we do this combat. And uh, we're definitely gonna apply one of these. So we're gonna use poisons, we're gonna use everything. Everything we can get our hands on. I am waiting for a good death. A good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Um, 
cracks, I could give you the death you seek. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Um, on second thought, you maybe should not. Leave. I don't want you scaring off my good death. Just in case things go like, there he is, really, really bad. You should probably do this. We're also going to give me one, too. so great being able to cast both of those without having to switch armor. It really is amazing. Do I still have poison on this? It, it should be, right? It's, it poisons it in your inventory. Yeah, let's see. Turn into a werewolf? That's an option. No, we're, we're gonna fight him honorably. Also, I'm not very good at fighting as a werewolf, so... If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. Uh, it seems there's no talking you, you out of this. Leave. I don't want you scaring off my good death. What? Oh, I thought that was if the activation. If you are not here to grant me a good death, then you can leave. Malachi, as you can see, it is not yet a Okay, there we go. Are you sure about this? Yeah, let's do mm, it. We shall see. You're mine. Oh, he's fast. Eric, help! God's sakes, Eric, hit him! Yeah. Like the bite of a flea. Yeah. Trade a stendar while you can. I won't you die. I think he might have resisted the uh poison. Be really careful here. Oh! That's it! That's it! He's done! He's done! Easy! Oh man. Alright. What do we get? Nice battle axe here. Yeah, that probably would have ripped our heads clean off our shoulders if he hit us with it, right? That's what? Uh, combined, that's like 300 damage. Wham! Right to the face. So, alright. He, he had a uh, light-handed weapon, too, right? Nice bow of flames. 68 orcish arrows. Let's take all of it, right? It's too bad we can't give him a, uh, like an honorable burial here. I feel like the Titanic. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. <laughs> Eric. Don't judge me, Eric. Don't you dare judge me. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. Wait, we're supposed to be quiet about the fact that we're killing the, um, the silver hand? I didn't know that. Oh, they must be outside track. Fung Howl, sun poisoning from not eating enough food or drink. Come to me with questions. It's all in the swing. Let me show you. Oh, we could do two-handed. I think we might. Well, I don't know if we have enough gold for heavy armor. I don't even know where he is. Yeah, so we'll do two-handed. All right, we're, we're going to level up two-handed. What brings you to me? It's all in the swing. Let me show you. Cool. Let's throw that right into one of these newer perks up here, right? So we have our attacks are even deadlier and absolutely devastate foes. And then leaping power attack while sprinting. Unlock sprinting power attack. Minus 25% bleed point. I think we're gonna stick with normal power attacks. That's still definitely a step in the right direction. All right. Anyway, back to back to selling stuff. Hmm. And here he is. 
Some people don't think I'm. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. So it, it would have cost us all of our gold in order to get up to uh, 67, right? We might do another level soon. Until next time. I have to be careful about throwing um, throwing levels into restoration or, or like other things. What can I do for you? Good luck out there. He has all the gold. I guess we're gonna have to sell the smell for it. Welcome to Bellathor's General Goods. Welcome indeed. Uh, do, uh, Bellathor, do you have Everything. Bone? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. How like just bone? No, nothing made out of bone. What if? Oh, oops. Ah. Ah. What did I just buy? Orker tusk. Do come back. Can I break that down? Yay! Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Bellathor. I assure you, I'm prepared to make any deal. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's No, that's we're not cool. going to invest. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Bellathor's a jerk. Oh, I I can't sell stuff like this to Bellathor. He will rip us off. And they're so light. But we did manage to find what we were Remember, looking for. I'll give you the best deal. Alright. Ah. So we'll finally craft an orcish hunting knife. We'll refine it, too. We'll do a little bit of extra oomph in it. Ah! Uh, we will need... I don't know exactly what we're going to need, so we're just going to take out, like, four of these and, like, some leather strips. Yeah, 23 leather strips. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, a... Yeah, we'll take out some corundum, we'll take out some steel. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wow. Dragon Priest Dagger? That's kind of cool. I do not see the hunting knife, though. Hey, there it is. It is there. Just to make sure, Dwarven is a, a fairly good at both. No, we, do, we don't even care about skinning anymore. We really don't. All we want is just harvesting out the ingredients. This is what we want. Thank you. And I did need steel, too. Wow, we leveled up from that, too. The worst part is we're actually really close to level, like, I, I think it's 75, where we can start doing ebony armor, but we'd have to, like, collect, uh, actually. Yeah, we have 19 ebony, so we made all of this um, Nordic gear, and we could have upgraded to ebony pretty quickly. I think what we would end up doing is train using the ebony to create Daedric weapons and then using, what's a good way of doing it, the uh, dragon hide and stuff to make our armor. I think that's going to be our end gear armor. So this is like our mid-game armor. I think that's a reasonable expectation. Alright, so we... What did we manage to do? We managed to sell all of our goods. We got up to around uh, 19,000 gold, right? Then we used all of that to invest back into two-handed to get this up to 50, get the perk, right? So that was, it, it was worth it. I was doing some training with the, uh, the different like broken um, head, weapon heads, right? The uh, broken enchanted gear. So we're gonna have to sleep in order to get all of our magicka back. Um, I've been streaming for a while, so I'm pretty tired at this point. And I'm worried that if we go and end the stream with combat, that I'm just gonna go head first and kind of nosedive into instant death. And we don't want to do that. So on the next stream, I might do this offline where uh, I'll be working on 
Here, we'll see. Let's let's take a look right at... Oops. We'll run down there because I'll, I'll showcase it. I want to do some alchemy and I'll do this offline just because it can take a long time to create all the alchemists. We have so many ingredients here, right? I mean, just, you know, the charred skewer, I've got 15 of them for water breathing. I think those can be mixed with, what, salmon eggs? How many of those do we have? The salmon row, we only have one. But I'll see if we can find any other ingredients that have the uh, water breathing effect, and we'll see exactly how much more we can add. No wonder if we can do it. Well, we'll see what we can do, right? We have plenty of ingredients here, five fire salts. Yeah, plenty of stuff. And when we get back, I'll be starting at 34 alchemy, and we'll see how much I can get by the beginning of next episode. So I will work on that, and I will see you all then. Good night.